Well, hello and welcome to Little Workroom Crafts. My name is Davina and I live in the southeast coast of the UK. Today is, do you know, I always look first and then by the time I talk, it goes right out my head. <laughs> uh, today is Monday, the 21st of June 2021, and this is episode number 67. Oh my gosh. <laughs> and where you can find me is all down in the description box and everything that I mentioned today will be down in the description box like companies and things I do and so on. Okay then, right. So I hope everybody is well and I say a big welcome to everyone. <laughs> Absolutely everyone. <laughs> okay then, right. What a week we have had here. As I said last week, it was so humid and hot, weren't it? And I don't, you know, I don't do eat at all. And um, it was, you know, it was getting really unbearable. And a lot of people, including a lot of us podcasters over here, were complaining about the weather, as us Brits love to do. <laughs> and then all of a sudden, this rain hit. Oh, my goodness me. I have never seen rain like it. We had a couple of real bad thunderstorms, a night of, of thunderstorms and a couple of them, you know, little bits in the days. But um, all my lovely poppies that I showed you last week in my front garden were all squished by the rain. Oh, it was just devastating because they looked beautiful out there. And then it was rained so hard. They were just hit or the petals fell off. And I was really, really sad about that. <laughs> but the little pictures at the front they are the pumpkins can you believe it they are those little pumpkins that i've shown you right from the seeds <laughs> and i didn't do it last week but i did it the week before and i thought well i'll leave it two weeks and my goodness they enjoyed the rain <laughs> that's all i can say but even though we've got rain and wind here because we, we have wind anyway living near the coast it is so humid still it is still quite hot um humid wise um anyway Today is summer solstice, isn't it? It is actually the longest day. So summer is here. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we've got rain. But, you know, hopefully July and August it will start boosting up and, you know, we will actually have get rid of this humidity because the, the clouds are all over us and we've got no sunshine at all out there. It's just humid and raining. So anyway, that's enough about the weather forecast. Let's face it, anybody can look at the television for that these days. <laughs> so, right, so uh, apart from that, obviously I've been doing some quilting. And as you see also in the photographs at the front, and I'm, I'm, I'm going to pop um, here again, here so you can see them clearer. I took a photograph this morning of the side of my armchair, which I had like a big plastic basket and a little metal thing with handles and I had all my different projects on the go um by the side there and I kept saying to Glenn I've I've seen loads and loads of people with these in their workrooms and, and a lot of my friends have them and that's those trolleys the three tier trolleys on wheels well I know that IKEA a lot of people get theirs from IKEA well anyway last week because I subscribed to Hobbycraft uh, for newsletters they actually sent me saying uh, that their trolleys with wheels and they've got brake two of the wheels have got brakes on um are reduced down to 25 pound <laughs> and i thought wow all different colors and anything from 25 pound up is postage free so i didn't even have to pay postage and this was friday i got the notification so I said to Glenn, I said, you know, I can't go wrong for £25 and it's postage free because it's that amount anyway. So, um, and I said, look, I said, I, I know originally I wanted purple, <laughs> but it didn't go with the living room at all. It would have stood out like a sore thumb, really. Um, and I said, but look, they've got this real nice champagne. And he said, oh, he said, you know, he said, you've worked hard in your little, you know, your sewing and stuff. He said, you know, treat yourself. So anyway, I on all, Friday afternoon, I ordered it. It arrived this morning. I am so excited. So I've been obviously sorting everything out, taking it all off and put it all back again. And take as you do, you know, when you get a new toy. <laughs> um, so, and then, so the photograph that I brought up a moment ago was the before. And this is the after of the side of my arm, my craft chair, my armchair downstairs. 
oh my gosh it looks so much tidy and that champagne color really goes well with the rest of the the uh, the, the living room and, and so on but 25 pounds so any of you out there looking or have had your eye on one like i have for a long long time <laughs> you know 25 pound and say postage free and it arrived this morning and i ordered it ordered a friday afternoon so i can't complain i know i would love to go to our local hobby craft which is the nearest town up the road i haven't been yet and i'm gonna go one day i really am um yeah so and obviously when i do go i'll have to take all you lot with us <laughs> But yes, eventually one day I will be going. So that is the newbie of the week. So that actually is the naughty of the week. Um, I don't think... Oh, there is one more thing. So let's do the naughties first, shall we? My other pika Pal book arrived from World of Books. And um, as you know, I get them secondhand from World of Books and this one should have been 15.95 which it says on the back there in gb and basically i got it for nine pounds something fair enough it's got a little bit here but then again you know what i mean i've got like what did i say i've got nearly well no it was but it would have been six pound off the book so i can't complain as long as everything is inside is neat and tidy which it is i i you know i always go for there uh, for my books from there that I know that I won't be able to get in the charity shops because <laughs> that's where I get a lot of them from. That reminds me, actually, I haven't been to a charity shop for a couple of weeks. Getting my drawers. So inside this one, which is the first one, you've got all these guys, which are absolutely great. So now I have got both books. As you know, I got this one the week before and i am absolutely loving them actually having so much fun with them and i will say to jeanette thank you very much from crafty craig Clegg creations for the advice it is well worth getting those books they are just so much fun and every pattern the actual pictures that the, the photography that they've put in for, to show the different stitches and, and so on is absolutely brilliant so well worth it for you if you like your amigurami Okay then, right, so while we're going on to Amigurami, I will quickly say today, before we get too carried away and excited like I normally do, <laughs> um, today we obviously have got, we've got some knitting where I've got a finished object and also a new cast on. I have got the crochet and I'll show you how far I've got with my first toy uh, from the pick a -Pal 2. I've got some explaining to do about the cross stitch. You'll see why <laughs> later on. And I have a quilt block done. I have actually decided this week um, I am not going to be working on shop stuff. So I'm actually taking the week off. I suppose that's the nice thing about being at home, isn't it? You could take a week off when you want to. <laughs> um, so, yes, I am taking a week off. And because the shop has got some bits in it now. And um, so it would be not not this week next week yes it will be next week i will be launching my new my first um crochet pattern like i mentioned last week so i'm just taking a week off to get my head around things with that and make sure that everything is how it should be so this week obviously i'm going to be crafting more for myself so i'm going to be doing more quilt blocks i've got it planned fingers crossed all this will go to plan and obviously pop to the charity shops <laughs> and um yeah so and doing some more pick a pal <laughs> okay then right then so first of all then as i said beans we've mentioned the pick a pal books we will do the cross stitch no we won't we'll do the crochet first so in my little sheet bag that i made <laughs> ages ago um I have actually started out of the pick a pal two. I should have it on the page, which I have. I have started, obviously, the lamb. It had to be the lamb. And it's Ada. Ada Lamb, she's called, or he. I don't know, quite know, actually. She. It is a she, I thought it would be. Um, so, yeah. So, I went through my stash and I found that I had two balls of the, just in stash, random, don't know why. The, <laughs> now, I, know, I always get this wrong, and I think a lot of people do. 
<laughs> that yarn in the stone wash <laughs> which is 78% cotton 22% acrylic and this is oh my gosh why do I do this to myself this is colour 831 which is called uh, 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 yeah that word there I don't know if you can be able to see it because I can't manage to get sometimes it clear. No. I X I N I. I'll put it on the screen. There you go. Sorted. <laughs> so that is the shippy shippies yard. <laughs> it's going to be one of them. Isn't it? <sighs> and I've got a head. Little eyes and the little little uh, cheeky doofers. Now in the book, all the nose and everything is in black, but I always think sometimes black can be harsh. So things like that I do do in brown. Now in the book, it does say to use a yarn. Basically, I used a embroidery thread, a skein of embroidery and I had where is it what one did I use oh I don't know because I used two didn't I now I don't know what one I used uh because I used the same for the the cheeks as well just out of stash everything is out of stash that is my aim unless I have a relapse <laughs> so, you know what I mean which we all do now I did use three skeins at uh, three threads I'm sure I did of um oh did i use all six? Oh, i'll have to let you know actually no i used oh gosh i'll have to count that and let you know next week how many i used but yeah i did use embroidery floss and i didn't i didn't use the um yarn because i think sometimes that can be too heavy and i think you have more control with the embroidery floss as well so that's the head and then last night i was working away I've got to the stage of this now where it goes, has to be stuffed. So, excuse <laughs> what it looks like. But that's the body, the way the body's done. You start here at the neck and then you do this and then you pick up for your feet. And then I joined the two little bits here and now I've got to stuff it, stuff it the legs, and then sew there and then sew that bit to there and carry on stuffing and then where is it her head basically pops on so she's a fair size because the ones in the book are all done in iron and this is a sport weight so sport i think that's a little bit is it a little bit thinner than a dk i think so uh because everything in the book is done with a um as i said an iron or what do they a worsted that's it um yarn and so they give you a uh, like hook size for that. But they do have a hook conversion um, chart in there. Um, so I have actually been using... Uh, where is it? Oh, where is it? Oh, I know. I'll put it in my, I'll put it in my notions pouch. Um, I've been using, because I do love these, which are the Clover Aura Auras. <laughs> I've got to get my words for to take it. And I use the three mil. Um, apparently you do use a bigger hook for the clothing but I'll have a play with that because for the clothing I all I've got is these I'm not saying the word again is, is these in that yarn is <laughs> two balls of these that's all I've got um, so I've gone obviously through my <laughs> my stash <laughs> of um, uh, Starcraft special and for the cape and the thr frill and everything I'm trying to think of what oh and the oh the inside of the ear I'm going to do the pink I think that will go all right with that and then the cape I'm doing in these two colors because I just think that all of it will go together that will show up nicely on that so and then after I have finished her I have already got yarn set up because I think this one is brilliant as well and Glenn was having a look through the book yesterday and he likes the lobster <laughs> I've already got the yarn all picked out for him and he's hanging up there on the back of the door and he's going to be all in Starcraft special still using the three mil hook and also I will say that 
um, if anybody obviously want to have a go or, or like doing the amigurami i was having a look for the safety eyes because obviously you know a lot of them or most of them do use the safety eyes and i had a look on ebay because they came up and i got a hundred which was 50 a set 50 sets of eyes which is a hundred obviously a hundred eyes four pound postage free in this little box which i thought was really really good i know there's different sizes and obviously we're going to use more than other uh, more size than others but now that's the crochet so let's go right then okay now to the knitting and as i have said at the beginning i have a, a fully finished um, object which is the scoosh toe up socks with a heel flap and gusset um, I'm a test knitter for the lovely Amanda from um, Shuttle Monkey which is Shuttle Monkey Designs on I always get this confused on Lovecrafts and Ravelry and her and she's actually got a YouTube channel called Shuttle Monkey I think it's just called Shuttle Monkey I think so don't know you know but if you if you um, search Shuttle Monkey she comes up Anyway, so I'm a test knitter for her and I did the um, cuff down ones, which I've always done. And these are her version, which is new to me, I will say. So this is her version of the um, uh, toe up with heel flap and gusset. Um, I tell you what, I thoroughly enjoyed knitting these. I really did. Uh, they were good fun. So it was another pair of socks for me to wear. These here were her cuff down which is a free pattern on lovecrafts and revelry uh, which is her cuff down scoosh but these ones are there is a little charge um i'll have to look into actually and see if i can find out by next week when the no, i think that has been released i'm sure it has i'm sure it's been released anyway have a look if there is any quibble quibbles get in contact with me and i will see if i can find out for more information for you but good fun i knitted these on dpns which were 2.25 which was uh, rec which was uh, you know recommended in the pattern so now i have two pairs of socks <laughs> which i i absolutely love i will say amanda's patterns are absolutely beautifully done the way they are laid out are absolutely gorgeous um the way they're written as well um i understood every word um i will say well worth it I wouldn't recommend the toe up for a beginner i really really wouldn't because there's a lot of positions for your needles and so on but her cuff down one yes that i would get started and then go up to your um toe up so obviously because i casted off a pair of socks you everybody has to have a pair of socks on the needles don't they <laughs> of course so because i had brought some of this um marina uh cozy toes which is their new uh sock yarn which is 100 gram ball for only 4.95 a ball and this is shade 2219 which i think is called jellyfish i think this one is called jellyfish and i thought if it's a merino um nylon mix i think it is a 75 25 uh, let's have a look yes it is yep merino wool and uh 25 um nylon in the ball it feels absolutely gorgeous and i will say oh my goodness me it is beautiful and and i thought well i'm gonna have a go at knitting it and see if there's any splittage or anything like that and no oh my gosh and the stitch definition i will say is absolutely let's get that stitch marker out of the way for you absolutely beautiful it really really is um these i've gone back to my 2.2.5 needles i love knitting on 2.5s um and 60 stitches which is my basic um vanilla pattern and i first started knitting socks from the christine perry winwick mum winwick mum sock no it was sock along i know it was i've got a badge there for the sock along <laughs> uh it's winwick mum I oh, want the name is the book it's an it's the orange book it is absolutely amazing if anyone want to start knitting socks 
that is the one i tell you i call that my bible it is absolutely brilliant i have a second book which i ha i got that from yarndale and i met her there oh she's lovely and i, and I had some photographs taken with her and then um, had me book signed when i brought it so i'm gonna have to have a look actually and see what patterns there is in there because i definitely fancy doing a pattern um sock i know i have got my uh what's it called one helen stewart one from last year's knit vent yeah <laughs> Um, which is the cable one i have got the yarn i've got the needles um i've got the second ball of yarn for the contrast but i have to cake that up um as soon as that is all caked up that they will definitely be on the needles but these ones because they're a vanilla um sock they are just ones that i like to have downstairs now on my new trolley <laughs> and you know because they're only in one of my small bags which is uh gosh i made that a while ago too and um it's so if i if glenn turned around and go oh can you um shall we go blah blah or can you take me here or whatever and i have to sit in the car i have a this you know i have this with me um because i can't sit in the car and do nothing <laughs> while he's um off doing walking or fishing or whatever so um yeah so and i thought well because of the colors of this where it goes through the colors it might be nice just doing a vanilla but i would say i would recommend this yarn a hundred percent it's beautiful to knit with um i'm thoroughly enjoying it so far i know i've only done this little bit but oh my gosh but i am doing the whole sock i'm not doing contrast anything with this i want to know how it, it it is right from beginning to end in the yarn um so yeah thoroughly thoroughly recommend this yarn right then let's put this in my little dpn cozy <laughs> make sure i don't lose my stitches so as i say that is kind of my on the go plain vanilla i do have to cast on my other one okay then so we have done the knitting and the crochet so let's move these socks down there now let's go to the cross stitch and yes i have started again on another piece of cloth third time lucky yay third time lucky right as you know my friend Teresa and i we're kind of doing our own little um stitch along now because uh, the original one kind of all got upside down and muddled up so we decided to do it in our own pace which is nice and this is the flea market flowers uh, by obviously the Laurie Holt as soon as we both saw this pattern we just fell in love with it as you know I first of all tried it on a piece of cloth that I brought now why did I change my mind can't remember so that one I can't remember now why I changed my mind on that one so anyway then I changed my mind again and I've had trouble with the hoop didn't I I couldn't get the hoop right and uh, the hoop size and so on and then I was there with this blooming great hoop and I thought, oh dear me, this is getting absolutely silly. Why can't I just get my head and start this cross stitch? It's, I've never been like this before. Um, right, let's start again. Right then, so I got went through my cloth and um, there is obviously now quite a bit <laughs> there. And if you remember a few episodes ago, let me have a look. I have got it written down here. My lovely friend Jan. Hi, I hope you're well, Jan. Um, looking forward to your next podcast. <laughs> I just started doing her podcast and, and it is called The Faithful Sheep Crafts. And I'll tell you, brilliant. Absolutely. She only got a couple of episodes, but very good. And she had contacted me saying that, um, do I work on 16 and 18 um, Ada's? And I said, oh, yeah, yeah, they are my favourites, um, go to. And anyway, so she had a few and she wondered if I'd like them. I said, yes, please. So I went through my stash and, yes, I've gone back to my lovely old Ada. <laughs> we all know at the beginning how much I love my Ada. Now, the other two uh, pieces took me weeks to get a couple of stitches in. This, my word, Um I am, I've been really going for it this week. So this is the first section. Then there's another bit of blockage here. And then here is another piece. And then you obviously fill it in with the flowers. Um, but I have found it's really, really weird. All the years I've been using Ada and I've tried this, it couldn't, wouldn't click. All this has been stitched in hand. So I don't even need a rope. 
<laughs> I should really talk proper. I hope. <laughs> but yeah. So, and it's neat enough for me. So if it's neat enough for me, I'm the one that's going to be looking at it. That's what I say. But now it's turned out really, really well. I'm really chuffed. <laughs> So I am really enjoying this, especially now I'm actually got going. And as I say, it's all stitched in hand now. And I've got all my bits and bobs in there in the project bag that I made. So there's no hoop, hoop um, to carry around with me. And yes, I am really, really enjoying it now. So it's nice to be able to have it on the go and I can just pick it up and then especially I can rotate my not rotate because I don't do all that stuff but you know I can sit there and think oh I've got to do a bit of cross stitch now do 20 minutes or so and then oh I'm going to get me knitting out now it's you know it's nice and it's, but this is actually within the craft and not just sitting there with me looking at it <laughs> so yes I have managed to do quite a bit of that within a few days now I've gone back to my Ada <laughs> Now, as you all know, Sunday is quilt block day. So on Saturday, I didn't have really anything much to do in here and um, I weren't feeling too good. So I said to Glenn, I said, what I'll do, I said, is I'm going to go upstairs in the workroom and cut out my block. And then Sunday, I will go up and sew it. I tell you what, that worked out brilliantly. Absolutely brilliantly. And I did put a photograph on Saturday on my um, Instagram and Facebook page of the little pieces saying that I had actually cut out the sheep block from the Farm Girl Vintage book um, by Laurie Holt. Now, as you know, if you're new here, I'm actually doing um, a, the, a quilt for my double bed that's going to hang right over in the 12 and a half inch blocks. Are they 12 and a half or 12? One of them two. And uh, which is the bigger block and I'm doing it out of the farm girl vintage book the first one and the second one and I'm combining them together so I have got a few blocks but I, I've been showing those in past episodes but last yesterday I did <laughs> the sheep I'm so chuffed with this I think she looks great I really really do and yet again, um, it's like in Laurie's uh, version, she used black, but I used a dark brown for the eyes and for the four legs. But oh my gosh, I am so happy. And you've got your little bit of, of meadow at the bottom. So yes, I am so, so chuffed with this block. It was cutting it. Normally, you look at a pattern and you think, oh, all that cutting. The cutting didn't take long at all. But putting it together, <laughs> that was luckily you've got Laurie there to hold your hand, basically. I will quickly pop in and say if there is anybody new that don't know, um, I get all my Laurie Holt books and my cross stitch patterns and everything from the Stitchery in Dorset. They are amazing, absolutely brilliant. They have free postage on everything in the UK. So, you know, I have got those two books and I've got another you know, Christmas one and I've got another one that I've got from them. And I have got some a couple of bits that they're actually ordering ordering in specially for me from over over in the USA. So, you know, ever so helpful, brilliant company, the Stitchery Dorset. And I've said that in the past as well. Brilliant. But yes, there's my little sheep. I just think she's so cool. I love her to bits. <laughs> So, yeah, she will be going in the quilt. I don't quite know what Glenn thinks of, um, is going to think of this quilt when it's finished. I've been having a look, because I know I said the sheep was going to be the last one out of the, out of the, the first book, but I was looking through yesterday and I thought, oh, I like the little, what was it? There was the barn. I love the barn, because I'd love a barn. And, um, oh, there was, I'm looking, oh, strawberry. Um, oh, there was a couple of other ones I thought, and I thought, well, I'm taking this week off. So I am going to hopefully get up here and do some proper patchwork. I know this is proper patchwork, but not actually fitting it into just one day or, or the weekend. I can actually just think, oh, I'm going to do some quilting today. So, yes, I am really, really looking forward to doing that this week. So hopefully I'm going to have more than one block to show you. Now, I didn't bring my Whitmore up. It has grown. It's grown quite a bit. But I thought I'd leave that a week and then pop in my progress of that um, for next week. OK, then. So I think that is absolutely everything for today. 
Um, yes, it is. So <laughs> I have, uh, I've been sat here looking at my shelf. I've got a shelf here with all my scissors hanging down and everything. And because I've sorted out my trolley downstairs, I had some, you know, con container things um that i was using downstairs that i've brought up and i find you can have things spread out on a shelf but you put them in containers or little nice little plastic baskets you have more room you really do um and i was sat here and i've done this side and i've done this side and then i've got the middle bit here and i think oh, i can sew something with that so that's my plan now before i go downstairs <laughs> and i want to see if i could finish my sheep the actual body of the sheep and put the head on and then i've got the ears to do the little tail and the cape and then she's finished so i'm planning on having her done ready for next week so i can show you oh just quickly right i will quickly say to em um hang on let's get this right <laughs> I will say I have got a couple of items that went into the shop last week. So I'm going to quickly show you those. And if so if anybody that's not interested in, in shop news, uh, thank you ever so much for staying with me this week. And I will be back next week, hopefully with a lot more cram crafting than normal, as I say, because I've got time this week. Looking forward to it. <laughs> and um, yes, so I will uh, see you all next week. So take care, stay safe, happy crafting okay then right so on friday yes it was friday because i normally do it on a friday i bought, just added another little couple of bits in that i made last week so i made this project bag which is like a calf kitchen ish it's not actually calf kitchen it's calf kitchen ish um fabric it's drawstring with handles this time I did the handles a bit different and I think I'm going to do this in future with, with other projects. Um, I made them patchwork handles, <laughs> which I thought was really, really good fun. So this is the first one that's ever been done like that is patchwork handles. You have your patchwork going to the front there. Inside, of course, you have your pocket and it is a drawstring. I think the drawstring with handles are so helpful so yes i made that i just love those patchwork handles <laughs> i really do also i made another set this fabric oh i just love this fabric i brought this when i went to um the edinburgh yarn festival um and this is little black and white cats look how cute they are front and back the same you have got pocket inside it comes with two dpn cozies and it also comes with one of the little flat notions pouch the notions pouch lining is the same as what's in the dpn cozy now actually what i will say before i go any further this one has got a very heavy um calico inside which is what makes it stand up on its own um so there's no um wadding or nothing in this one in this one it has got full wadding front and back and it's all been machine quilted you see the lines there and there's machine quilting on the back also out of the little bit of fabric that i had left over i made a, an extra notions pouch um so i uh so this one is in there on their own on its own and there obviously is another set i think this this fabric is just so cute and i just love the, the patchwork handles on this one <laughs> i really do now this is just a little bit bigger than the medium it's turned out a little bit bigger this time i don't know what i did but i still did it as the medium price and this one is what's classed as my small which as you can see is not very small anyway okay then right so that is what went into the shop so there'll be no update in the shop this week as i said i'm taking a week off um getting ready for the big thing next week <laughs> so that's coming around too quickly <laughs> so uh what i would love to say is thank you ever so much for all your support in everything everything this channel absolutely everything i enjoy doing this so much every week i really do so and i love talking to you most you know a lot of you i talk to in the week as well I, you know we message each other 
on Instagram and so on. So it's just a lovely community. It really is. So thank you. So I'd like to say, please have a brilliant week of crafting. So um, take care, stay safe, happy crafting.